hello guys so welcome back so i just wanted to show you another alternative way you can model this hydraulic fitting someone pointed it out to me so remember when you start when you looked at this print and you weren't sure where to start this method might help you to determine how to start modeling this part so the first thing you need to do is just identify the the view and what you're looking at so we already know that this view we are looking at it we can call this the front view or whatever view you want to call it and we know that this view when we flip it in the opposite direction 90 degrees is this view so what you can start doing is if you don't know where to start modeling it how to start modeling it what you can do is start with by drawing all the sketch of the views you see and adding all the dimensions which is what this is so now this on this on the front plane um, the this this sketch is drawn so you draw this sketch on that plane on whatever plane you feel is the appropriate plane for this for this part in particular um, I didn't make this part one of my colleagues uh, made it and sent it to me and was just pointing out um, how you can also model this part in this way so he drew this part on the front plane the sketch on the front plane and once you have your sketch and you draw your second sketch which is the sketch of this view so I'm just going to rotate it this way and he drew that sketch on the top plane so once you have all your sketch in the in the right place everything is easy to do the red the, the next thing you need to just do is start filling everything in so we have those two sketch right so what you start doing now is you start filling everything in you see he has the revolve the revolve so I'll show you what the sketch looks like so all you just do is draw your sketch coincident to all those points on that first sketch revolve and again it did another revolve which is on this view and I'll show you what that sketch looks like and let me go normal too so you just pretty much put all your sketch to the point with this method your you do most of the work by drawing these two sketch out and once those sketch are complete you just fill everything in in the other features and just make your sketch make it coincident and revolve it so that is revolved so we have those that feature now and the next thing it did is the revolve cut on the inside so you just cut it out and i'll show you what that sketch looks like and it's pretty much the same process you just follow it another revolve cut on the inside and it's using pretty much all the sketch the the points on the sketch it made in the first drive sketch to cut those features and for the for this then you just pretty much have your counter ball so when i made my feature i actually did that with two sketch uh, a two sketch and extruded but you can also use the whole wizard um, and you select the counter ball which is this one and you put in all your dimensions and you get that and again you going down the only thing about this is doing it this way is for beginners I wouldn't um, for beginners it depends on how well your model where you are with your modeling techniques like this like as you're looking at this sketch now it seems like there's too much going on so that might be confusing for some people so if it gets confusing you can just hide your sketch so you see what's going on but I just wanted to show you this method as well so you pretty much just start filling everything in and the last thing you do is your fillet and you fill your fillet in and that is another alternative way to make this part or any part for that matter if you don't know where to start a good starting point is like what I said this two drawing the two sketch out on the plane that those features should go on then you start modeling from there and another thing I want to point out is on my when I made the first tutorial 
the fillet I added the fillet as I was going and as you can see on the bottom the fillet is a little bit different it's pointing up so that's another thing to consider you might have to um, rearrange your fillet sometimes to to make the part look the way it should look so sometimes the order you add the fillet it would look differently as you can see in this part because the fillet was add at the end add after this feature was made um, SOLIDWORKS um, generated that fillet in a different way so I hope I've been able to explain this clearly I don't want to spend too much time wasting your time on it I just wanted to point out this method which is start out by drawing your sketch and start filling everything in from there thank you and I will see you in the next tutorial bye